So Yuda and uh, his student had made major contributions in addressing the problem. So today I'm going to give an overview of the results. Okay. So the problem of estimating cause-effect relationships from data has arise from a number of different areas. So normally scientists would uh, perform controlled experiments or interventions now to, to estimate those causal effects. Now those control experiments typically are expensive and they are often not possible due to legal or ethical considerations. So instead, investigators have to rely on observational studies to try to draw a causal conclusion. Now it's not possible to draw a causal conclusion from purely probabilistic information. So typically, to, we have to couple causal assumptions with observational data. So the task here would be decide whether the assumptions we made be sufficient for assessing the strength of causal effects from non-experimental data. So this problem has been basically studied by a lot of researchers in a variety of areas, like in statistics, epidemiology, and in AI. Now, Yuda has addressed the problem in the framework of publicistic, in the framework of directed acyclic graphs. So in this framework, Basically, we will assume that our cause assumption will be represented in the form of a graph, such that the edges would represent direct causal influence. And basically, we assume that the parent-child relationship represents causal mechanism. And quantitatively, they are characterized by conditional probabilities or you might assume they are characterized by some non-parametric model. Such that basically we make so-called causal Markov assumption that each variable given its direct influence would be independent of, of those non-direct influence. And so this leads to this uh, expression that uh, joined the distribution is represented as a product of those conditional distributions. So that's basically the standard Bayesian network. So basically, causal Markov assumption try to associate the probabilities with our causal assumption. Now, to distinguish between observation and the intervention, Yuda introduced this dual operator. So we use this dual operator to represent our manipulation, such that we fix the value of a particular uh, variable x to a particular constant value. So in the graphic model, this basically represents, say in this graph, we set the, okay, we fix the value of, We fix the value of x, then basically means we cut this link. And the distribution after the intervention is given by this expression, which basically we remove the, this corresponding factor here. Notice that this is very different ways when you observe the value for x. So basically, uh, by this model, we typically call it a causal Bayesian network. So by committing a causal Bayesian network, we assume that the model not only represents a joint distribution, but it also represents a set of post-intervention distributions. And each of those are given by such an expression. 
So basically, that's a framework of the Bayesian network. So the dual operation essentially try to model the control the experiment. So if you say first set x to be one, then observe its effect on y, then you set x to be zero, you observe its effect on y, you say the difference, then this kind of corresponds to our intuition about causal effect. So here I will define the causal effect as the post-intervention distribution of y after you do an intervention on x. And well, here I will, instead of the do notation, I will use a different notation. Basically, this represents it's a still a valid distribution on y. It's kind of just indexed by x. So in the framework of causal Bayesian networks, the problem of inferring causal effects now becomes assume that we have observational data. And we have made some qualitative causal assumptions represented as a graph. Our question is, can we make predictions about causal effects given the information we have here? Well, if all those variables are in the network uh, observed, then yes, we can make those predictions. Well, that's essentially our assumptions. Basically, we commit to this causal Bayesian network, then that's our assumptions. So the problem of identification arises in the case of unobserved variables. Now, if you look at this simple model, well, you ask this u is unobserved. We have observation over x and y. Now you ask whether the effects of x on y can be predicted. Well, if you look at this model, it's basically it's impossible to distinguish. If you know the correlation between x and y, it's unclear whether it's due to this common hidden cause or because there's a direct influence of x on y. So mathematically, basically, we can construct two models such that they have the same joint distribution. However, they make different predictions on causal effects. So in this model, we say the causal effects of x and y is not identifiable. Now, in some other models, the effect might be identifiable. For example, in this model, the u is unobserved. But still, we can show that the causal effects of x and y can be expressed in terms of joint distribution of y, so say. So in this case, this causal effect is identifiable. So now the problem is how do we, in general, if you are given such a causal Bayesian network, how do you decide whether certain causal effects are identifiable or not? Now to address the problem in this seminar paper published in 1995, Yuda established a calculus of interventions known as a do calculus. Let me show the do calculus. Basically, it's three inference rules. It's basically kind of transform those expressions with interventions with those without interventions. Say so this one. This one has an intervention on z, this one has not, and similar this one. So basically, by applying those inference rules, you might transform some expression with interventions into something without intervention. So this gives you a syntactic method of basically computing causal effects. So this do calculus gives us a method for, in general, to computing causal effects. Also in this paper, Yuda established two very popular cryptographic criteria for, identif for identifying causal effects, so called backdoor criteria and frontdoor criteria. They are basically sufficient graphic criteria to ensure the identification of certain causal effects. 
So this paper has been, I guess, cite, cite, has been cited like I checked on Google. It has been cited like more than 400 times by people from all different fields like economics, epidemiology, statistics. So based on to calculus, a number of sufficient criteria for identification have been established by Yuda and his students and his colleagues. Now, all those results were summarized in Yuda's causality book, chapters 3 and 4. Well, now we have the calculus. It can be used to derive those causal effects. Still, it's very difficult to decide whether a particular causal effect is identifiable or not. Because these rules give you little guidance on how do you put them together to give you a derivation. For example, this, this is a graph from Yuda's book. Basically, it says those are the examples of identifiable causal effects. If you look at those graphs, these two are trivial. And this can, these two can be, the, here we are concerned with causal effects of x and y. So these two can be identified using backdoor criteria. This one, frontdoor criteria. Now, this two is basically quite involved. So it's very difficult to derive, to prove that, yes, the causal effects of x and y is identifiable. Well, for those students here who have taken you this class, you know this is the, prop, the homework on the causal effects, always the difficult one. Basically, Yuda will give you, say, this graph, and then you are asked to show that, to decide whether this causal effect is identifiable or not. Well, I have like, taken Yuda's class, I've TA'd for Yuda, but it's, this, this type of problem always gives me a headache. <laughs> so I have been thinking, well, is there another way to solve the problem? Well, fortunately, I figured out a way. So this is uh, kind of the first result I obtained, which said the causal effects of a single written X on a set is identifiable if there is no bidirectional paths connecting X to any of the children in the graph. Well, it happens this theorem covers all of those examples. And it also covers the front door criteria, back door criteria, and in fact, all the criteria in the Yuda's book, which concerns with singletons. OK. <coughs> so uh, basically, when I showed this theorem to Yuda in, the, in his class, well, Yuda was very surprised about the result. And this is derived based on something else, completely without to calculus. So it's basically based on some certain graphic structure. So we call it uh, C components. So since I don't have time, I will skip the details. So based on this C component decomposition, we have basically developed the algorithms for identifying general types of causal effects, the causal effects of set of variable on another set of variables conditioned on yet another set of variables. And this algorithm was later shown by, by some other people to be complete. And the Ilya Shipser, who came to work for Yuda, after, I guess the year after I left UCLA, he also worked on this and presents some alternative algorithms which are also complete, which are also based on the C component decomposition. And they also go on to prove that do calculus, yes, is complete for identifying causal effects, basically by showing the complete algorithms can be simulated by do calculus step by step. And some recent results, basically now you can con consider more complicated types of interventions like conditional interventions, randomized interventions. You can consider a sequence of those different types of interventions. And now we have algorithms to identify this such a dynamic sequential causal effects. And the Ilya also showed, showed the algorithms for identifying counterfactuals. So basically, okay, I 
in conclusion, I give a review of state of art in identifying causal effects. You and his students have played a central role in establishing these results. I'm very happy and to be honored to be part of that team. Thank you.